Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos for PMD Interactive and I'm going to show you how to make a simple uh, HTML5 document. So all you need is two things, a uh, text editor and a web browser. So I've got here my favorite text editor. This is Notepad++. You can download it for free. So I've started a brand new document, it's empty, and I'm going to write my basic HTML5 structure. So we'll start writing this first line here. It's got a less than symbol, exclamation point, doc type, D-O-C-T-Y-P-E, space, HTML, greater than. This defines my document as an HTML5 compliant document. So at this point, actually, I'm going to save it. I'll put it on my desktop. You can give it any name you want. Make sure it's saved as .html. Next line, I'll write this HTML tag. Press Enter a couple of times, and then slash HTML. So HTML is all about tags, and often pairs of tags. So I wrote the HTML tag, meaning everything between these two tags will be my web page. So in between then, I will write the head tags. It's a head, and then slash head. And then after head, I'll write body tags. Notice all these tags have had pairs so far, except the doc type at the beginning. That's a special case. Inside of the head section, I will write another tag that has that does not have a pair. This is the meta tag. But what's different about this tag is that inside the tag, I have to add here, C-H-A-R-S-E-T, car set, equals, quote, end quote, U-T-F, dash eight. The letter U, the T, and the F, dash eight. So, so far I've defined my document as HTML5 compliant, that's what the first line says. And then here I've set a, to use the character set UTF-8, which basically allows me to use all the letters of the English alphabet and international letters like in Spanish and, and, and Russian and, and so forth. So, next in the head, I'll write the title tag. This one's got a pair. And I'm keeping it on one line. It, this could easily work if I had broken it up into two lines, but HTML doesn't really care, so I'll keep it in one line. And I'll write here my first HTML5 site. Inside the body, I'll write the H1 tag. This is a heading number one. This is big and bold, as we'll see in a moment. All of this code that we're writing, HTML, is a markup language. That's the ML in HTML, markup language, which means that I'm marking things. Here's my name, and I'm marking it with H1, that it'll be big and bold, heading number one. I'm going to create a P tag pair, which means I'm marking this as a paragraph. So at this point, I've written a very basic page. I don't know what it looks like yet until I see it in my web browser. So I'm going to save it. I want to load this in my web browser. So Notepad has a run menu. And I'll say run this, launch in Firefox. And here it is. I get my Firefox window. There's the title that I wrote up on the tab, my first HTML site. There's my name, big and bold, because it's a heading one, and then a plain text, because it's a paragraph. So what I can also do is change the style of things. Notice everything is black and white. Maybe a little bit of color is what I need. So I'll go back to my body tag, 
Inside of the tag, I'll add a space and write style equals. And here I'm writing CSS, cascading style sheets. Basically, the styling, the look and feel of my website. So in my case, I'll say background dash color, and I can write any color, such as pink. I'll save it. I'll load it in my browser. There we go, a pink background. It added it to the whole body, but I can add style to any element that I want, such as here, to the H1 tag, I'll say brown, and I've got brown behind that text. My text is getting a little hard to see, so I can change the color of my text as well by adding more CSS, this time saying simply color, I'll say white. I'm refreshing my web browser after every change. I'm making a change in Notepad, I'm saving it, and then I'm reloading or refreshing in the web browser, and now I've got that. So there's my project so far. 11 lines of code, anyone can write this, and I've got already my web page. Come back for a future video to learn even more. This has been Victor for PMD Interactive.